If you're not showing up on page one for your most important keywords, you're not gonna get a lot of sales from that keyword. And so tracking your keywords daily and even hourly sometimes helps you understand where you're showing up on search results for your specific keywords. But you might be thinking, I'll just go on Amazon and type in my keyword and look for my product. And I'll even do it in the incognito window so it doesn't know my search history. It doesn't work like that really well. <laughs> keywords fluctuate based off of location, search history, your order history, what time you're on Amazon, like, you know, like so many different things. And so you may not be getting like the best real time information. So that's why in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up keyword tracker so that you can track where your product is being ranked for specific keywords as much as you want. And so you know exactly where your product is positioned. Okay. And if you can understand this tool and use it to target the correct keywords, you will have the potential to easily triple your daily. I wanna show you three main things with Keyword Tracker. The first is gonna be how to add products into Keyword Tracker. And then the second is to analyze the keywords after we've put in our product, because you wanna know what to look for. It's not helpful just to put in a product and just to kind of like not really know what to look for, what to not look for, et cetera. And then the third thing is I wanna show you how to find new and even better keywords to put in a keyword tracker over time. So for this example, I'm gonna be using this, this little gym timer that I have. I've uh, sold a few different ones and I really like this one, I use it every day. And um, I haven't set up keyword tracker for it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. When we're in Helium 10, we're gonna click down on tools and then come into keyword tracker. I have it starred right here, but you will find it here in the, um, where is it? <laughs> the listing optimization section, okay? So I want to first go to add product. And first off, there this is a newer version of it. You can click uh, back to the previous version of Keyword Tracker, but I suggest uh, this newer version is actually pretty slick. So we're going to go to add products. And then it's going to say track parent ASIN and all variations. Here's what that means is I have actually a, red, a black and a white gym timer. Okay, the cases are different. So I do have a variation, all right? Meaning, if you know about variations, there's kind of an ASIN for the parent, and then this has an ASIN, the the white one, and then the, the black cover has a separate ASIN. And so it's asking me, do I want to track all the keywords for the uh, black cover and the white cover, like all in one? Or do I just want to track the keywords for the black cover uh, gym timer? Does that make sense? And so I, I do want to separate those. I want to see if there's a correlation or a difference between are people, do people uh, favor the uh, black color or do f people favor the uh, white cover? And what are those keywords? Okay, so um, what I want to do is it says, we've detected this product. Would you like to track the keywords for the parent ASIN and all um, additional ones? I'm just going to say cancel. And basically, no, I don't want to. I'm going to do a separate keyword tracker for each ASIN. And then next, we're gonna enter in our keywords and add those in. Now, you should have an idea of like what keywords you wanna track. And if you don't, I have a separate video that I'll link up to above right now of how to find the best keywords for your product. But you essentially want to copy and paste the keywords in here. Or if you've already added them from a list that you've created, you can do that. Or if you wanna go into um, a separate tab, go to tools, um, where is this? My list of keywords that you should have saved. And mine are all piled here under gym timer keywords. And I can just click the copy keywords, come back in here, and then copy and paste all of the keywords. And then I'm gonna click remove special characters and then start tracking. Cool, so that's set up. It will take a few days for um, it to start working, okay? But here's what it looks like once it start working, once it starts gathering information. I'm gonna do this uh, for a different product that I'm selling, this uh, little uh, fidget gun, okay? So I'm tracking all of these keywords. Once you've added your new product and all the keywords, it's gonna look like this. And obviously it's not gonna have any data because you just have it, but it'll take a few days. I would give it at least a week or so. And then it'll start tracking where your product is appearing on the keywords that you put in. Let me show you what it looks like after some time has gone by. This is for a different product and I have about 150 keywords being tracked. You want to use and look at this data and look for a, for a couple of things. Whenever you launch a new product or you're selling on Amazon, you want to know 
where your product is being placed at for your top keywords. I mean, all of this data is good, okay? There's a lot of cool little metrics. I, I like to just focus on what's most important, okay? Make it very simple. Because when you come in here, it's a little bit confusing. It's kind of chaotic. And you have all these columns and all these things that you can track. You can add notes, you can add tags, you can see with the search volume. So I'm just gonna try to make your life a little bit easier. You know, I want you to click customize and it's tracking all of this and you can do this if you'd like to. But what I find most important is I wanna look for the search volume of the keywords I'm tracking. I wanna look at the number of competing products. I wanna look at my organic rank uh, for these keywords. I wanna look at the sponsored rank for these keywords. I wanna look at the CPR and even date added. Some of the stuff is also important, but for just for now, like this is most important. I'm not running any ads for these keywords. And so that's why the sponsor rank is zero. But when you're looking at all of these, the most important thing that you should be looking for or looking at is organic rank, in my opinion. Like what keywords are you organically ranking for? If you had 150 keywords and you could only focus on 10 of them, um, which ones uh, would you focus on? You would most likely focus on the keywords that are the highly, um, that are correlated with your product the most, but have the highest search volume. You want to like focus on organically ranking for those keywords. And so that's why keyword tracker is so nice. Is you can check every day, see if you're getting close to page one. And if you're not, what you can do differently. So if I rank by organic rank, or if I filter by organic rank, I'm on spot number three for fidgetory knife, um, which is great. That's one of my targeted keywords. I'm on spot number four. So like all of these are page one. Now there's usually 60 spots on page one and that's showing like the position that the product's in. But if I want to see like what page am I on, just, you know, am I on page one or two, click on the page one or sorry, the page filter. And then it'll show me I'm on page one for all these keywords. Okay. Awesome. So like, that's your first thing you should focus on. If you're running ads, look at the keywords that you're trying to target ads for and making sure that you are on product that you're on page one for those, um, targeted keywords. And if not, maybe you need to change it or, or high, high up the bid. The next thing I want to show you is something new called the boost mode. So it says boost requires a minimum of a hundred searches a month. Keywords with lower search volume may not work. What it is, is this is daily tracking. Boost mode is like hourly. If I want to boost this fidget toy knife, I can click that and it'll start tracking the position that my product is being ranked hour by hour, which is like even the, even more detailed. You only want to do this with like five or 10 products because you're going to sell a lot more units. If you just, if you're on page one for five of your best keywords, then on page three for a hundred keywords, if that makes sense. So that's what I suggest doing. Now, the next thing is, um, well, I actually, I want to show you uh, these other tabs. Now you can track competitors if you want to look at their keywords. You know, that's where um, uh, his Cerebro is is coming in a, in a place. I, I personally am not right now. And then it will have some suggested keywords that you can add in, which is super helpful. So I can click all of these and I can add them in. And then the, it has like a heat map, which usually this is like a whole map of the United States. And it shows you where like the product is being purchased the most. I personally don't use this. I think this information is, uh, valuable at least to some extent or at least entertaining and then ads and why i say that is you know like there's so much going on in helium 10 there's so much things to look at but fundamentally i think you always want to ask yourself what is going to help me sell more units and what's going to help me like just move the ball forward in my opinion finding keywords with the best search volume and that you're organically ranking for on page one and then also sponsor ranking like that's your main goal in using keyword tracker are you on page one okay what can we do differently to get there like okay, that's really why i use it and that's why i recommend now if you want to um continuously add new keywords in you're gonna have to use cerebro do the reverse ace and lookup so i have a whole complete other video about how to find new keywords using cerebro and magnet i'm gonna link up to above but that's how keyword tracker works i hope this has helped you out if so Hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.